Mindful Monday. Yes. And we are one week away from spirit, uh, Christmas Spirit Week. Christmas. Yes, yes. Our week so of sharing excited. and caring yes. Spirit Week. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I think it's going to be great. Oh, it's yeah. going to be great. So and fun. Absolutely. speak with Spirit Week, what are the, well, let's do the introductions. I have the amazing two ladies. <laughs> Miss Boswell, your school counselor. And Miss Lindsay. And we have our dear friend. Mr. Sizemore with CIS. And we are coming to you from Support You News. Okay, now let's get back on track. Back on track. On Christmas Spirit Week. Yes. What are the students supposed to do next week? Next week we're going to have a fabulous week of sharing and caring, guys. And in this week on Monday, which is like our holiday hats or headbands day, if you wear your Santa hat or maybe your headband with little antlers on it, whatever it is that you choose to wear on that day, we're also going to be collecting hats and mittens for those less fortunate who may need some during this cold season. On Tinsel Toe Tuesday, that's our favorite socks. And we will be collecting socks that day as well. On Wednesday, it's our favorite character shirt. So maybe you want the Grinch or Peanut or Pokemon, whatever your favorite character shirt will be. On Thursday, it is our holiday sweater day or t-shirt if you prefer to wear a t-shirt. And then Friday is pajama. Pajama day. We will have events for us all through that week. And if you're unable to bring those items that we're collecting um, on Monday and Tuesday, you have the remainder of the week to bring things in, and we hope to display those on our Christmas tree. So bring them in, and we'll hang them up. It's going to be a great, yes. great week. Yeah, we're so Woo! excited. All right, so on Mindful Monday, we have one, two, two. Two amazing students that you ladies would like to introduce. Yes, today on Mindful Monday we have Mason and Demaya. Come on in, Come on friends. Us. Come say good morning to Stonewall. Come on. Come on in. Can you say good morning? Good morning. Are you guys ready to do a yoga pose and a mindful practice with us today? Excellent. Let's get started, friends. All right, friends, so today's yoga pose is called the ragdoll pose, and it works on releasing tension in our back. Tension is like when we feel tight inside, right? Mm -hmm. Calming the mind and stretching the backs of our legs that are called our hamstrings. Mm -hmm. So we're really going to work on some relaxation today. So the first thing you're going to do is put your feet about shoulder width apart, and then you're just going to hang your body down, reaching for your toes, Letting your neck kind of rest down. It drops toward the floor and you kind of dangle like a rag doll. You feel real loose there, right? And you can gently sway from side to side, letting some of that tension release. And keep a little bit of a bend in your knees, okay? Do you guys feel pretty loose? <coughs> loose and rag doll like? Yeah. Excellent. Come on up slowly. Take a big deep breath in and out. Good. Good job with Ragdoll. Try it in your classroom today. All right, we're going to take a seat on the floor to do our mindful practice. Are you ready? All right. Today's mindful practice is called Floating on a Cloud, and it works on letting go of your worries. Do you ever worry about things? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I can worry about things. So this helps us let go of some worries. I want you to put your hands on your legs. Take a big deep breath in. And out. In. And out. Make that SH sound. And in. And out. Try to fog glass. Now you keep breathing while I read this, okay? Close your eyes or keep them open. Imagine you are floating on a big white cloud. The white cloud is surrounding your body and you are very safe. The white cloud is so gentle and soft and fluffy and it feels so good. It's moving gently. You feel as if you're cradled in a big hammock made from pillowy clouds floating in the sky. You look down from your cloud and you see you're flying over fields and forests, rivers and lakes. 
You see small houses and roads and cars. As your wonderful white cloud keeps sailing in the sky, you reach a special mountain. It looks like a dormant volcano, the kind that has no fire or smoke inside. The mountain is known as Worry-Free Mountain. If you send your worries into the mountain crater, it will take them away. You take a minute and think about what you would like to send into the mountain crater. Let's take a deep breath and think what we might want to send into that Worry Mountain Crater. You think of one thing that bothers you and you throw it away in the crater. You let it leave your body, and it makes its way in the crater, and it disappears. And that makes you feel a little light, lighter. You think of another thing that maybe scares you. Think of something that scares you. Take a deep breath in. Let it go into the crater. You send it into the mountain. Now you feel even lighter. You realize that you can send off to the mountain any bad feelings you might have. When you are done, the magnificent white cloud takes you back on a soft ride all the way back home. You feel so much lighter and ready to welcome in new and good thoughts. You know that you can always call for your white cloud and it will come back to take you again on another ride to the worry-free mountain and back. Let's think about that mountain and what we need to let go of today that might be scaring us or worrying us. And when you're ready, you can let those things go today and release that breath. Remember, guys, that mountain is always available for you. You let those worries and those things that scare you go. We hope that you have a wonderful and mindful Monday, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.